Hello everybody and welcome to Pokemon Blue version. We're gonna be doing a Gen 1 randomizer Nuzlocke. Thank you for the audio there, Florida. It says, sounds great. I'm gonna have chat going on up here above me. This is gonna be a great time. Um, Cause the last time I attempted this, I was not going to tell you guys this was my first, well, this wasn't my first time, but this is not my first time. I, I tried this like probably 20 times before. It's horrible. Yes, yeah, Shadow Fang, this is a vid. Say hi to YouTube. Your chat's gonna be showing up there. Um, we're recording this right now for YouTube. Um, <laughs> let's see. Phoenix says, What is up, gamers? It's your boy, the Black Belt Barber, coming at you with the Pokemon Randomizer Nuzlocke. Oh, what is it that Ludwig does? Uh, boys! Um, <laughs> G'day, YouTube. I random people will probably never meet. You spelled meat wrong. You spelled it with an E and an A. <laughs> all right all jerks aside everything like that we're gonna get in here and uh generally i just let chat choose exactly what um what uh what pokemon we choose goodness gracious is the joypad not configured it's configured um right right but that is yeah there we go okay okay there we go. All right. Greatest feeling? Excellent, Shadow Fang. Six cursed stuff to do in chat. Do it. Uh, let's see. We're going to set text speed to fast, obviously. That's the first thing we have to do in all of these games. And we're going to hit new game. Meet? Where are we meeting? <clears throat> so I'd go through this whole thing, but if you want to see, you know, all this text and everything, you can watch my Pokemon Yellow playthrough that I did. My completely vanilla one that I did. Oh, delightful cursed facts. Thank you, Phoenix. Um, it's a Hitmonlee this time. Isn't it normally in Nidorina? I think it is. In Pokemon Blue? Ah, eh, well. Either way, first important thing we need to choose, what is our name? Everybody, first name I see in chat is the one we're going to choose. Beer, bear, bear boar? Bear boar. I like it. Alright. Bear. Boar. As we wind up with <laughs> That actually fits perfect. <laughs> right, so your name is Bear Boar. Now we need a name for the rival. Give me the next name. Next one. I need rival's name. Because we could call him Fart, which is hilarious for the memes, but... I think our better option is going to be to let chat choose. So Phoenix said bear boar. <laughs> All right, looks like I'm facing off against my ultimate enemy, Dino Dan. We'll save Guy for the next one, Shadow Fang. How's that sound? Or that you know, Guy could be the name of the first Pokemon, whatever it is, even if it's like you know a Jinx. It's like, hey, Guy. Um, either way, oh, not not Dino Can. Oh God, it's Tuna. Okay, so it's Bear Boar versus Dino Dan. And those of you who don't know, who don't watch Twitch, Dino Dan and I, we uh, Dinosaur Dan Twenty One, we play a lot of games together. Or at least we have in the past. So first, we're gonna pull the item out of the PC, which is always a potion. I don't have that randomized. It is something that you can randomize, but I choose not to. Also, I do have high speed if I want to. Yeah, hey, Mom, I'm just going to go encounter some random Pokemon. It's time for the Jesus. <laughs> Hold up. Those of you who haven't seen this need to see this. Off to bed. Can I just pop in real quick? Thank you for the gifted sub, Florida. Congratulations, Zing Pal. I hope everybody really enjoys this, because I th I took a long time thinking about what my sub alert should be, and th this is what I came up with, and I feel so proud of it. <laughs> Florida Panther 13 just gifted one subs. Thank you, Florida. Thank you so much. It, it does. It when it happens over and over again, it's hilarious. I mean, my wallet is like, oh boy, but then, you know, the screen is like, oh god, why? <laughs> it's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live out there. Then how are you? How am I still standing here? Obviously, it's not that dangerous, Professor Oak. 
Wait, I need to do like the Professor Oak, Oak voice. Uh, a hundred subs, it'll do one alert if they're all gifted at once. If you gift one at a time, then it'll do one at a time. But nobody's gifted a hundred subs all at once yet. Dino Dance fed up with waiting. How? Oh, what do you know? Just like a kiwi. Here, bear boy. There's three Pokemon. Now we get the fun part of the run. If those, of, those of you who don't know how these uh, Nuzlocke randomizer runs go, most of you probably already know because it's such a common thing. But um, you randomize all the Pokemon encounters, and you can randomize things after that. So um, I have all the evolutions randomized, all the moves are randomized. Every Pokemon starts off with four moves instead of like the base two or anything like that. Um, and there's no limit to how many times a Pokemon can evolve as long as they can still evolve. If they can't evolve anymore, it stops. Um, so it's not like you're going to get them a champ and then you're just going to evolve it into like a Clefairy or something. If they can keep evolving, they're going to keep evolving. If they can't, they can't. Traded Pokemon are modified. Draco Meteor didn't exist in this generation, Phoenix. We got to deal with Gen 1. Um, but I did have a, um, I believe it was a Fissure Metapod at one point. No, it was a Sonic Boom Metapod, and it failed. Because it was too slow to actually keep up with anything. But we'll see what we've got this time. First option... We could literally turn this into Pokemon Yellow, without the Pikachu, but the actual better version. Um, with Raichu. Um, there's... Decknet? Decknet? The heck is... Oh, decent. <laughs> I'm like, Decknet? <laughs> Alright, uh, and what do you know, I mentioned Machamp and there's Machamp. Machamp is great in this game, um, but there aren't too many fighting moves that he can make use of. Um, yeah, this is, this is a good option. And then our third option is a Persian. We have solid choices across the board here. We don't know what their moves are going to be, but they're solid. So, <laughs> Decknet. Decknet. No, 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 just leave it as Decknet now, that's going to be the meta. So... We have Persian. We're going to go over the benefits of these here, okay? So, <laughs> you're amazing at this, Shadow Fang. Are types randomized? No, types are not randomized. I tried that once in the past, and it was just hell for me. I couldn't... I came across a, um, a Pokemon that was completely immune to any moves that I had, and I had to um, run out of moves, go struggle, and finally take it down. My champ named Guy would be funny. That would be funny. What all is randomized? Um, evolutions, moves, items are randomized, um, we don't know where any of the items are, what moves are on the TMs is randomized as well. I should put this all in the card for the, in the description, yeah, I'll, I'll put that in the description down below. Um, not on Twitch, obviously, but on YouTube I will. Um, yeah, moves, evolutions, level up moves, TMs, items. Um, what items are located where TMs are still going to be in TM locations, but the moves are going to be randomized HMs should have stayed t static. They do HMs are not affected because they're too important. You can soft lock yourself if they change So HMs are unaffected all TMs are affected um, All items are affected My hope is that I can get like a freshwater or something before we get done with Cerulean City And then we can just go straight through Saffron to wherever we want to go um because we'll we'll play around with the mechanics of this game too while we're doing this. But I think What do you guys think? Raichu, Machamp, or Persian? Persian has high speed. Persian's gonna be a crit machine and a half as long as they have the right moves. Machamp has high strength, and they're going to be able to lay in the damage regardless of what moves they have unless it's all special. And then Raichu has speed and physical strengths. Raichu surprisingly does not have the best special attack, or it's special in this game. Looking at all their level 5. All those moves are randomized. So you won't know what they have. We don't know what they have. It's all random and they have 4 moves. So that's why it's all based upon their stats. What stats do we get? So do we go with electric? Do we go with fighting? Or do we go with normal? And they're all pretty much even across there. Machamp has the highest attack stat. Persian has the highest speed. And Raichu is a good balance between the two. Oh, also, every Pokemon... Raichu could. Raichu's like a glass cannon there. Raichu's a severe glass cannon, but that's where you get the benefit of both the speed and the attack. 
and special. I think Raichu has better special than Pikachu. Yeah, we're waiting a long time on this. I, you know what? While we're waiting on this, <laughs> person's your first thought, Phoenix. I like where you're going with that. I like where you're going. There aren't too many fighting type moves that could really bother us in this playthrough. Um, Persian is a good option, but you hate cats. Well, if you hate cats, why not choose Machamp? Four arms to throw a cat around with. Because I was, a t I have four cats. Just letting you know that, Phoenix. I have four cats, and they're all boy cats, and they're totally awesome. I personally think male cats tend to be the better ones, just because they don't like to fight with each other. It's just experience. So, <laughs> as far as having a decent special stat. Persian's gonna have the better special than Machamp does. Also kind of making this a bird joke. Fucking Phoenix. <laughs> Look, why do you care if you hate cats or not, Phoenix? You're just gonna rise from your ashes. You know, rise from defeat. Um, I think best option right now, because we're going through the beginning of the game, we're gonna want to hit hard and we're gonna want to hit as hard as possible. Anything with a decent psychic move could be real tough for us, but I think the best option would actually be to go with Machamp. Just because they are the physical powerhouse. So. We're gonna do this, okay? Going with Machamp. Starting off with Machamp. It's really energetic. Well, what do you know, huh? Uh, yeah, we're gonna nickname it, and it's gonna be Guy. Now, Shadow Fang, do we want Guy to be capitalized or no? Machamp named Guy, that's right. Let's do all lowercase. I think my, my cream is bad choice because if moves are randomized, you might get... Yes, that's right. Don't matter? Oh, it's going to be lowercase. It's just guy. <laughs> I think the next playthrough, or if we catch him a champ, we're going to name it McCramp. <laughs> also, we have a, um, a duplicate clause. If we come across... The way a Nuzlocke works, if you don't know. Um, you can only keep the first Pokemon that you encounter on a route. If you defeat that Pokemon, you cannot catch another one there. Like I said, I'm great at this spelling thing. Yeah, hell yeah, you are, Shadow Fang. Um, yeah, if you defeat the Pokemon that you first encounter on a route, you cannot try and catch another one. Unless it is a duplicate of a Pokemon that you already have. So we're going to instill the dupe clause because there's not too terribly many Pokemon in this game. Um... There's no legendary clause, we're not doing any of that, but there is one that I like to include where if we catch something on a route, we can also fish to catch something on a route, as long as that was not the first encounter that we did, and if we're going to do that on a route, we have to use the the old rod to get a level 5. Dupe's clause is optional, Dupe's clause is always optional. Wait, Barrymore, let's check out our Pokemon. Right, let's see what Dino Dan has, do they actually have the version? There's no experience share in this game is different. It's called experience all, and it basically gives experience to everybody on your team all at once, every battle. There are no held items in this game, and we're not using any items in battle. Okay, and that's not something we're doing. You have the choice where you can recatch one. Um, you don't have the choice to recatch once. Like you, you can't just go and recatch one on a different route. But if you get to a route, and the first thing you encounter is something that you already have, you can encounter something else until you encounter something new, and then you can catch that. Alright, what do- oh. oh! Look at that move set. Do you see the Psychic Sword Stance High Jump Kick and Ice Beam? It-, it If we- This is like the strongest fighting move besides Submission. Mid two moves. I mean, th these are amazing. D don't worry, I can teach you everything you want to know about Gen One Shadow Fang. Let's try High Jump Kick. If we hit it, it's a one shot. They could crit us and take. They did not crit us, and that's going to be a one shot. I think. Yep, there it is, and it's a critical hit. Holy shit, my guy, <laughs> my guy. <laughs> we gain two levels. <laughs> An attack stat of 23 this early. Okay. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. What do you know? You picked a normal type going against a fighting type. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Yorbor, Gramps. Smell you later, bitches. 
Oh, I clicked off. Sorry. Yeah, this this is gonna go well, I think. I hope. Let's have a look. Guy, what are your stats? You know, all things considered, that's not a bad special stat for him, a champ. I think we can make use of that. I, I think we can really make use of this guy. Also, all Pokemon can learn a any HM in this game, in the way our natures in this gen. No, no natures. They have... They have something called IV, which is the inherent values. 23 attack is powerful, amazing for level 7. Um, but yeah, there's something called IVs, which is Generation 1's version of like natures. So each Pokemon is going to be weighted one way or another. There are effort values, but they work different. This, this is all weird. IVs in this one are not the same as later on. They kind of function in the end the same, but there's like... It, it's really weird. So here's the thing, we don't have to deal with the first thing that we encounter until we get Pokeballs, and we can't get Pokeballs until we do this little fetch quest for Professor Oak, so we'll get through this pretty quick. We'll, um, I'm gonna run from a lot of these things because I don't want to level up too much. If I level up too much, I might not be able to weaken something and then catch it. This guy gives us a potion, so we got a potion. Handy to have multiples. We can have potions, but we cannot use them in battle. The only items we can use in battle are Pokeballs. Uh, okay. Uh, horsey again. This must be the Rattata. So each encounter is changed. Like, so... Every kind of Pokemon is changed. So you'll encounter Rattatas, Pidgeys, that sort of thing on this route. But you'll encounter some level 2 Rattatas, some level 3 Rattatas, some level 4s. Each one of those is a different kind of Pokemon. Probably want a Pokemon that's final form or evolves at a low level. That's what you want. Um, or something that levels up really quickly. Like, Chansey levels up really quickly, but it doesn't evolve in this game. Hey, you came from Pallet Town. You know Professor Oak, right? Well, his lazy butt can't come here and get this parcel, so I'm gonna have you take it back there, 10 year old kid. Let's go. But we're gonna get our first random item here. Um, we're gonna go this way, and then up, and there's always an item up here, okay? And there's always an item here. For some reason, they make this loop, and there's this tree, and you can cut the tree, but there's always an item there, and we gotta revive. In a Nuzlocke, if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead. A revive is absolutely worthless to us. We will not be using them. Um, if a Pokemon dies while we're playing this, then we're going to put them in the final Pokemon box on the PC. And if at some point, free catch, free catch? What do you mean free catch? I can't buy Pokeballs yet. What, what, what do you mean free catch? I'm, I'm free money? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is free money, yeah. Just pick up the revives, boom. Oh, free cash. There we go. This is how we get the Pokedex. We cannot continue the game unless we have this. I'm just gonna speed everything up and get that done with. Okay. I imagine Dino Dan has his own theme song just like that. Yo, it still revives during your Nuzlocke playthroughs? Hell yeah, I do too. In this game, we have very, very limited, um, very limited inventory space. Like, we can only keep some, like, I think 25, maybe 30 items at max, and it fills up real quick with key items. So we're going to take advantage of the fact that we can put items away in the PC, which is why they made it that way, and we're going to put stuff in the PC that we don't need, like the town map, don't need it. Um, I don't even know why I picked it up. There's inventory space, yes, very limited, and there's only one slot. Like, here's, here's the items. Like, this doesn't go very far down when it's full. And there ain't much there. But hey, we can buy more Pokeballs than we could normally. This is a good thing with this revive. So we're gonna do this. You, sir. I'm gonna sell you something. I'm gonna sell you this revive for 750. That's worth at least three Pokeballs. I'm gonna buy. Sixteen. Do that. I'm gonna get a couple of antidotes because that could be really handy <laughs> you can't buy a better bag this game was made on shoestrings and you know hopes and dr wishes like this this game was slapped together very very quickly 
or it, not necessarily quickly, but just on a dream, you know? We'll just call it on a dream. The ice cream's going to keep me awake. Hell yeah, Shadow Fang. Nish Joy in this game is just referred to as Pokemon Lady, so we're going to call her the Pokemon Center Lady. Um, we all know she's Nurse Joy, though. It's made on duct tape and bubblegum. That's it. Yes, duct tape and bubblegum. That is perfect. But yeah, over here. You can go in here. This is your PC. For those of you who've never played it before, you can see everything about it in my Pokemon Yellow playthrough. I played that to the T. The way that the game was originally meant to be played. No glitches or exploits, but we're going to take advantage of glitches and exploits. Chewed bubblegum. Hell yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to catch a Pokemon. It may be horsey, it may be something else that we haven't seen yet. So let's just see what we get. If we can catch something. This could be good. This... Tauros in Gen 1 was cracked. Like, seriously cracked. So we're going to hit it with an Ice Beam. And hopefully it doesn't die. It did not die. It is using Bide. That means we have two turns to try and catch it. That's perfect. Um, Bide in this game will store up moves, you know, the damage that they receive from a move for two turns. And then after those two turns are done, it'll unleash all that power against the opponent. And Tauros is incredibly hard to catch in the Safari Zone or otherwise. So we're just going to keep pugging some Pokeballs at it. There is a way to manipulate this. Oh, it has bubble. Oh, it did one damage. It is trash, but it's not the worst trash. You gotta think about that. It's got double team. We can take advantage of all that. So we know it has bide, bubble, double team. Bubble is good against certain Pokemon. Oh, also, sometimes damage calculates so low that it doesn't do any damage, and it just says that the move missed. But that does happen. That's Gen 1 mechanics for you. Let's try this. Come on. One damage with a crit. Yeah. So that means it was a low roll. F oh, it has Ice Punch, too. That's also a special move in this game. They didn't have a difference between physical and special attacks. If it moves a certain type, it does special damage. Come on. Buddy. You're gonna make me lose all of my Pokeballs. It's a terrible moveset, but it does learn more moves on level up. And we don't know what kind of TMs it could learn. Didn't play until Gen 4. You, you youngin'. I was playing Gen 4 in my senior year in high school. <laughs> in my 12th year. Okay, I don't know if we'll be able to catch this thing, and I'm going to use all of my Pokeballs. Which means if I use all my Pokeballs, then I gotta... Ugh. Come out when you were young, huh? You know what? Psychic. Oh, wait, no, it's used double team like crazy. Oh, shit, we're not going to be able to hit it. Oh, God. It's going to keep ice punching us. We're going to freeze at some point. Yep, there we go. We're frozen solid, and... We cannot. So, uh, its next level up move is 21. Ah, uh, we can make that work. So, Gen 1 Frozen, the, the freezing in Gen 1 is really broken because, um, if you're frozen, nothing can thaw you out except for a fire type move that's used by an opponent. Okay, we could run away. Good. We're just, we're not gonna lose the run to that. We have five balls left. We're going to go fight our rival just right now. Or we'll go back down there. We'll KO some Pokemon, get a couple more levels, and fight our rival. And we'll see what happens. There we go. That was fast. So we're not getting Tauros. We're not getting anything on this route. I had add. What did you say in the past 30 seconds? Um, freezing in Gen 1 was really broken because you could not thaw out unless you used like an ice heal or if the opponent used a fire type move on you. Look, we can use Psychic, even though we're a Machamp. It doesn't make sense, but it can't even take down as level 3 horsey, okay. I have not, but I do need to do one with somebody. I forget who I was planning on doing it with. I'll just ice beam you back, horsey. Take that. Um, 
I was planning on doing well with someone. I forget who it was. Alright, let's encounter another one. Hopefully the Tauros variety. Once we're level 9, we'll go after our rival. Why didn't we get Nido King? They do look fun. I could try one with Dan, but Dan is very busy just like I am. Uh, we're gonna do Ice Beam. Ice Beam and Psychic are super effective against this thing. And it's gone. Level 9. That's good. We'll go fight our rival. Oh my god, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. What do those stats say? Defense is 22. Holy shit, that's high. And special's really not bad. There's no special defense and special attack split in this game. Your special stat is for both. Um, the higher your special, the higher your defense is. You know, just it's just how it works in this game. It's annoying, but it works. Heal. There we go. Let's go fight our rival and see if we survive. It's the first hurdle of the entire game. So we'll fight him. And if nothing else, if we can't catch anything until after Brock, we can get the gift Pokemon, which is the level. Uh, level 5 Magikarp normally, but it's going to be something different. Okay, good. No encounter. Let's go. Bring it on, Dan. Hey, Beer Boar. You go into the Pokemon League. <laughs> Forget it. You probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. Okay. It doesn't have to be such a jerk about it, you know? You have an Alakazam. My dude, you literally have the thing that, like, <laughs> you know, do you count give Pokemon as your encounter for a route? Absolutely not, Phoenix. They are not an encounter, they are special. Uh, you know, let's sword stance this thing. It has stomp, okay? It's got, it's not gonna do much. I love that animation, that's beautiful. Let's high jump kick this thing. We could flinch from a stomp. Ooh, we hit it. One shot? Nah, not quite. See, Alakazam is the definition of a glass cannon. Massive special, no defense. Had a special move, that would have been terrible. Oh, <laughs> would have been a disaster. That's what it would have been. Oh, look at that. Look at... Would y'all look at that? Yeah, there we go. Alright, Persian. We've boosted our attack. Will we survive? Yes! Oh yeah! We are tanky enough. Let's go. Oh. That battle was a brick wall 90% of the time. Any other time I tried to do this. Guy. My guy. Bro. You just lucked out. You bet your ass we did. <laughs> Bro, my heart. I know, right? The side beam coming out. <laughs> Oh, it was horrible. I tried doing a Nuzlocke as well, probably have a different gen. I've done Nuzlocke on Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon... Pokemon Fire Red, Pokemon Sapphire, Emerald, um... I don't think I've done a Soul Silver one. No, mm, No, not a Soul Silver one. I've done a Platinum one. I've done a black one. Um, yeah, I think those are the ones that I've done. Done 10 Nuzlocke's on white too. Jesus Christ. Never finished any? Oh, I've only been turned down by one, and that was... Um, that was... Uh, Pokemon Sapphire. I made it all the way to the champion. His second to last Pokemon, I had one Grand Bowl to my name. And I got taken down by, I believe it was, uh, Deoxys that came out. It was insane. Got too bored to finish. Oh, okay. You needed an audience to watch you do it. Let's buy some more balls and see what we can do. So, yeah. We're going to take advantage of some exploits in the game. Um, because, you know, I like to exploit things. Oh, I, I don't have enough for that, huh? Let me just buy one then. for fun of my... Never beaten White 2, got to the champion slash Pokemon. Oh no, your game crashed? Your game crashed? Was it an aftermarket cartridge? Because that might happen with an aftermarket. You have nothing to say. <laughs> it's all good. 
Shadow Fang, that's the best part. You don't have to say anything. People will just sit there and watch, and they'll be like, Oh my god, I wonder what's going through his head. What can we catch here? A Haunter. It's a regular one. It froze. That's insane, Phoenix. Um, so here's the thing. Haunter's got a great special stat. The Gengar line is really solid, but Haunter will evolve, and trade evolutions are possible in this game, the way that I have it modded, so that way, um, at a certain level, they will evolve. If they haven't evolved by level 20, or by level 30, they will evolve. But either way, Haunter's solid on speed and special. So we're gonna huck a ball at it and see what happens. Can't really hit it. Oh my god. First try. First try, let's go. <laughs> Haunter's got gas. Because of its ability to slip through block walls, it is said to be from another dimension. and other dimension. What are we given? What, what do we name this Haunter, folks? What, what, what do we name this thing? I need to know what you would call it. What would you call a Haunter in Gen 1? Because we don't know what it's going to turn into at the end of everything. We don't know what it'll eventually evolve into. Girl? Alright, we got guy, we got girl. I like that. Girl. And there's no genders in this game except for Nidoran female and male. Grandpa? Let's save that one for the next one, hey? Hey, Phoenix? I like this. I like this naming scheme we've got going on. Great at choosing names. Top tier names right here. So let's have a look at its moves since we didn't. Guy, oh my god! All right, stats. Great special, decent speed, attack and defense are basic. Just make a family, sure. Let's do it. Step bro. Ember acid. Okay, so we got some special to take care of that special stat. But everything else is physical. Garbage for Haunter. But Swift will not miss, and Double Kick is solid. Acid can lower defense. Ember is a fire move, which is hard to come by in these games. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch them to the front, and we're going to use them to catch another Pokemon. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. We're going to go up to our next catching spot, which is going to be up here. This guy's going to be like, Whoa, you haven't caught a Pokemon? Oh, oh you're not going to stop and talk to me? No, we're not. We're not going to stop and talk to him at all. We're gonna do switch training. I want to be very, you know, careful with this. But what do we get? What's our first Pokemon on this route that we encounter? If we can get to Celadon, we can evolve this thing. Acid is physical in Gen 1. It is. All poison moves are physical in Gen 1. And so are all ghost type moves. What game to randomize? Ooh. You should... What, what options do we have, Phoenix? That's our randomized one. I got a Raikou as a starter. I've had that. Um, so Paris is here. Um, poison is quad effective against this thing. Let the first five gens randomize um, Soul Silver. I like Soul Silver. Randomize Soul Silver. It's great. Long game, a lot of fun, and at the end, if you make it, you get to go against Red. So that was Sludge. That wouldn't have done much. Either way, let's throw a Pokeball. Pokeball, go! Got Heart Gold, go for it. Three Pokemon in the bag. Let's go. Pettis. Burrows to suck tree roots. Mm. Suddenly I'm a tree. The mushrooms on its back grow by drawing nutrients from the bug host. Do you want to give a nickname? Yes, we will. What is my favorite gen? Gen 4. Gen 4 is my favorite gen. They made everything right with the moves, you know, physical versus special. But then again, I do like Legends Arceus. That's like a really awesome game. And um, Pokemon Violet was really good too. Violet and Scarlet. I have Scarlet. All right, uh, this one was going to be Grandpa. Grandpa Paris. G... R A N D P A R A S Grand Paris, no, no, we'll just go uh, Grandpa. Omega and Alpha were God tier games, were they? Hmm. 
Haven't played those ones yet. Oddly enough, I took a hiatus after a while. Oh, wait, let's see what Grandpa's got. Grandpa's got decent special... Grandpa's speed is awful, okay? Grandpa's gonna be the slowest Pokemon that we got for a long time. But it has Thunder Punch, Crab Hammer... It already has Spore. Oh my god. We have to level this thing up and we have to use it to catch Pokemon. Because it's got Spore. Spore is a 100%... 100 accuracy sleep-inducing move. Amazing move. Honestly. Probably one of the best moves we could possibly have. All right, let's go into Viridian Forest. We can only catch one thing here, and let's see what we get. Da -da 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 -da. Are you going to Viridian Forest? Be careful, it's a natural maze. Oh man, when I was a kid, I got locked in this place so much. This guy doesn't want to fight us. There's an item up here, let's see what it is. Awful, can't use items in battle. We'll walk this way. And we'll go down. This way. You wanna fight? No, he doesn't. He doesn't wanna fight us. No, stop it. I have like four balls left, okay? Alright. What do we have the possibility? We could get a machoke. Are you machoking me? Sending Grandpa. I want to try and put him to sleep and catch him. Al. That's physical. Oh. Spore. That's perfect. That works perfectly. Here we go. And now it's asleep. Sorry about the flashing lights. Alright. Crab Hammer. This is fantastic luck. That did awful. Thunder Punch. Gen 1 sleep is horrifying because you don't get to um, you don't get to attack on the turn that you wake up from. Oh, why am I using well, I mean, it's fine. Okay, that was a crit. Thunder Punch. The move you really want is Wrap. Wrap is great because even if you use it against a ghost, oh wait, it woke up? Did it wake up? Okay, we're gonna swap to guy. I'm, I'm not taking any chances. It woke up. Um, wrap, even if you use it on a ghost, which it doesn't affect, it'll still lock them. That was close. It'll still lock them for five turns. Alright. Pokeball, go! Ah, oh, jeez. Baby legs! What is up, my friend? <laughs> welcome everybody. Ichigo Natsuko, welcome TJ, hello, how are you? Welcome Baiting to stream or just do over Discord? Aw, oh, dude, do the stream. <laughs> Baby Lakes, what's up everybody? Welcome to the Pokemon Blue Randomizer Nuzlocke. Bastris, how you doing? <laughs> Yo, everybody, OP Big Bone, what's up? It's going good, Bastris. It's going great. Better now that everybody else is here. Um, we're trying to catch this Machoke here in Viridian Forest because that's something that actually happens. Um, we managed to get it down to low health, not with this Machamp that we started out with, um, but with a Paris that we caught that's named Grandpa. Yeah, you guys are going to be in YouTube vid. This entire thing's going on YouTube, so say hi, everybody. Alright, Pokemon, go! Nope, that, that was the last Pokeball. Sorry, everybody. I couldn't show off, you know, a catch real quick there. But let's uh, let's let's use Ice Beam because our Machamp knows Ice Beam. Uh, this is just gonna be straight on to um, straight on to YouTube. You know, not quite a vod from when I said that we're starting to when it ends. That's that's what's going on YouTube. Really, I hit myself. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Ichigo Natsuko, what's up? What's up? I see those nervous faces, they're adorable. Straight footage. Fair enough, that's right. We get straight bone in here. Uh, let's see, bone is saying hi, like uh, Legend of Zelda the Wind Waker. Okay, I need to do a shout out. Uh, da -da 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 -da. 
checking it out. Uh, that's oh my god, Baby Lakes. Ah, uh, that's a that's a long name. Whew, man. Um, Baby Legs. Oh, there's a capital L. Jesus. Oh god. Legs underscore D. Angry Banker. Is that it? Yes. Bow. Shout out given. Let's see. Oh, the oh god. You fucking dead quit. <laughs> you bastard, get your ass in there. You fucking quitter. Get in there. <laughs> It's awesome. Get your ass in there! Oh my god damn it! I need water. I'll be right back. I need water. Oh my god. <laughs> oh you bastard! Father <laughs> Oh my Alright. There's Baby Lakes the Angry Banker. Go follow them on Twitch. They're awesome. Really, they're great. The clip was awesome, someone rage quit. Oh that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. Alright. Um, Shadowfang wants a fun fact about Bastris. Bastris says, Baby Legs and I used to co-stream every day. That's nice. Um, but I'm going to tell a fun fact. Bastris has been streaming for less time than me. But has become wildly more successful. Not in part. Or not, not, oh, I should say, completely due to his fantastic beard. Like, that guy has the beard. Like, you think I have a beard? No, he's got the beard awesome beard 100% everything about his stream is just beard it should be beard stress not bastress totally Yo! thank you for the follow Ichigo see you can even see it in the emotes there there's uh there's beard stress right there <laughs> you're welcome bastress um we're gonna swap train that's gonna be our big thing here we're gonna swap train make sure that we keep our pokemon healthy yes there's the beard stress you can see it right up there above me here one beard two blue eyes <laughs> Three, Bastris. He got all the Bs. That's right, triple B. Biners, Brivens, and Bives. So, our Machamp that we started out with has Psychic, High Jump Kick, and Ice Beam. Let's hopefully hit, yes. And that's a one-shot because it's a fucking Machamp with High Jump Kick. Holy hell. Can you believe it? <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Ichigo. Oh my gosh. A Dragonair? Yes, we will swap. We're gonna send out our grandpa. <laughs> this is dangerous in a Nuzlocke randomizer when I don't have very many healing items. And I can't use items in battle. That's my restriction. No items in battle. We're building a family. That's right, we are. So any names for Pokemon are going to be, like, family. And they can be, you know, they can be stepsis, stepbro, you know... Yeah, Uncle Grandpa, whatever, but they have to fit within, like, the Pokemon name length. That's just something that's gotta happen. Alright, uh, Grandpa gained 91. Hey, Grandpa, we're gonna level up and keep them going because they do evolve. Haunter is supposed to evolve with a trade, but I have it modified so that way they will evolve at some point. So far, we got Guy, Girl, and Grandpa. That's right, we don't have Mommy or Daddy, though. That's where Bastris and I come in. We're both Daddy. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guy, girl, guy, and grandpa looks all rickety. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go and heal up at the Pokemon Center. I just don't want to lose a run in Viridian Forest like I've done so many times in the past. So let's go. And you're like, oh man, he walks so slow. Can't he just sprint? Didn't exist in these games. Those of you who've never played Gen 1, never existed here. Bastris knows. If Bastris played the Pokemon games, I don't know if he did. Bastris, did you play the OG Pokemon games when they came out? Because you and I are like the same age. Or within a couple years of each other. Oh, we're gonna speed up through this. Oh, yeah, I have... I can speed up because it's an emulator. Ha <laughs> ha. Eh. Eh. Yeah, there we go. You played Gen 1, yes. But did not get to play it until 2016. Really? It was still your first... I'm glad you started with it. Did you start with yellow or red and blue? He send you a copy? Borrowed Fire Red from your cousin? That's not Gen 1. That is Gen 3. You can't tell me otherwise. Fi mm -hmm. Fire Red is Gen 3, Bastris. That's not Gen 1. This is true, Gen 1. If this is what you played, then that wasn't Fire Red. And then it was just Red. 
Yeah, Fire Red is a remake of Gen 1. That's right, Shadow Fang. You can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. They tried to include lingo and slang from the times. Started with Platinum, then did White 2, then Y, then just pirated Gen 1 through 3. If you're just gonna play them to play them, pirating, I hate to say it, is the way to go. Because there's no reason to spend the hundreds of dollars on the original games. Played Gen 1, Red, Blue, and Yellow. Nice. I have my original copy of Red, and I have Pokemon Yellow. I also have Pokemon Green from Japan, Pokemon Yellow from Japan. Um, I have Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Um, uh, we're going to Psychic this because Cloyster has no special defense, only physical defense. Oh, that could be dangerous if their attack stat was high. This is the best part about Machamp. They're a beast. It was not Fire Red. Okay. Thank God, Bastris. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> it was on the original Ma Game Boy. Good. The original Bame Noi. Played the demo of Gen 7 on 3DS. Ah. Alright. Ichigo, what was your favorite Gen 1 game? Was it yellow or was it red or blue? Never played a Switch one? The Switch ones are really good, honestly. Honestly, I would highly recommend the Switch games. So Gyarados is water flying. We have Thunder Punch if we want. But we're going to be incredibly slow compared to Gyarados. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap to Guy. And we're going to pray. I would not recommend the Switch games. I would recommend Pokemon Legends Arceus if you're going to play one of them. It's brilliant. Um, Guy can do this. I believe in Guy. They're just taking down. Everything else, though, is bad. Pretty much, yeah. Ice Beam again, and finish it. Arceus is good if you can put up with the lag. Yeah, Zyla and Scarlet are fun. Scarlet is great. Sword and Shield get more shit than they deserve. I bet it does. Let's go with Decent. As a remake of Gen 1, they already had the right formula, you know? Oh, Grandpa leveled up good. Lost my red during a move a while back. Oh, still have blue, and I ended up with two yellows somehow. My favorite would be red, first one I got. Same with me. I still have the cartridges in my glass case that I have back here. Tentacool. I thought it was pronounced Arceus. Arceus? I always say Arceus because it's like archaic. I know people say Arceus. I used to say Arceus. Just because, you know, I thought, you know, that was how it was supposed to be. Let's try and spore it. Are we fast? No, we're not. Oh my god. Grandpa, no. Grandpa, hang in there, buddy. We hung on barely. And Spore is going to put it to sleep, and Gen 1 sleep is brutal. So let's Thunder Punch our way to victory here. Grandpa's going to take the win here. You say it, Arceus? Yeah. See, I think Bastris knows where I'm coming from. Most common two are Arceus and Arceus. Well, I'm just going to be counter to everything else. Arceus. So, ha. Huh. Grandpa coming in clutch at the end. Grandpa, I underestimated you. He's so old, though, he's got fungus growing on his back. So, you know, well, it's, well, it's all we can deal with. Uh, I got two potions. Let's use one on Guy. And we'll keep going. You call it Dave. <laughs> Pokemon Dave. It was Arceus until Nintendo noticed what it sounded like. Oh, like an arse? <laughs> Awakening isn't really that bad in this game. Because um, we can use it outside of battle uh, on our Pokemon if they're asleep still. Like, that's, that's one thing. We can use items outside of battle, but no items in battle. Pokemon Legends, Kyle. <laughs> I imagine Arceus saying... Dave! We could have had a Venusaur, or maybe tried for a Venusaur. I mean, we could have tried for it, but, um... You want know Ember. We got a good special stat. Let's see if we can take it down. As long as it doesn't have anything good against us, it's got Clamp. That is a special move. We should be fine. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Oh, God. Okay, cool. It only lasted one other turn. Right on, girl. Normally, Brock is a rock-type leader. We have no clue what he's going to have. An escape rope. You know, that's handy to have in Mount Moon when we get there. Which will be in a little bit. 
We have one more battle to do. Hey, wait up! What's the hurry? <laughs> I'm trying to get the first badge, obviously. Brock, you mean the chef? Chef? Yes, I do mean the chef. Um, it's a psychic type. They don't have anything. <laughs> Sending guy. Hi, it's Guy Fieri here. Now that he is four. Oh my god. Alright, let's see if we can survive this. Come on. We woke up. Okay, good. You know what? Just fucking high jump kick it. Almost. Oh, thank god. Whew. Can't wait to add great grandma to the family. <laughs> Chef was his main sort of role in the anime. Yeah, exactly. I'll turn my frying pan into a drying pan. Greatest joke of all time. We survived. That was scary as fuck. I've lost to that guy too many times, more times than I'm willing to admit. So let's get out of here. This is still Route 2, so we don't get to catch anything here. Still the one from before. Same encounter patch. So let's go and let's heal up. That and Womanizer. <laughs> Attempted Womanizer. I don't think he ever actually got anywhere with that endeavor that he had. <laughs> Always carry a frying pan around in reference to that joke? Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, you sir. I would like to buy... I'll buy one Pokeball for now. I will sell. I will sell an X attack. I would sell my town map, but it won't let me. <laughs> Not all of them are successful. That's true. Not all are unsuccessful either, so we can rearrange our items. We'll always try and keep the Pokeballs up at the top. I also had Misty the Inquisitive One and Forgettable Guy. Oh, you mean Tracy? Tracy, the forgettable guy? <laughs> I thought there was an item up here, like, hidden somewhere, and I forget if there actually is or not. No, there's not. Okay. Who? Exactly. Oh, also, this guy here, there's an interesting way to get by him, but we won't do that on this run. We'll do that on a run where we're not randomized. Um, because I don't want to go anywhere without a level lead. It's the other side. What's the other side? Break on through to the other- Oh, the other- Oh, 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 um. Talking Go? The newest one? Oh, the hidden items on the other side? Okay, okay. We gotta get it then. Doink. Uh... There we go. Where? Where? How do you know? There is nothing here. There is no hidden item. Oh, man. Is it one of these weird structures that I have no clue what the hell they are? No, I don't, I don't think there's anything. We're just gonna pretend there's not anything there, and we're just gonna go into the gym. I think it's in um, Fire Red and Leaf Green, but it's not in the other ones. We're gonna, yeah, Grandpa's out front, good. We're already set up. This guy in the newer games gives you a fresh water, but he does not in this one. We're gonna fight everybody that we can. Step right there, kid. You're still light years from facing Brock. Probably. That's all right, it's all right. Ace Trainer wants to fight. Sent out Krabby. Level 11. Hmm. Hmm. 
grandpa's really slow. Listening guy. Grandpa is a bit underleveled. Not by any fault of his own. We just caught him later than everyone else. Wow. He survived. That defense is something else. And that critical thrash was awesome. He's got arthritis. <laughs> there we go. See, he's getting some levels. He's doing all right. A Grimer. Sending Grandpa. Sending guy. I don't like that guy's health is about half right now. I don't like that. Because that could be dangerous. But it's not, so we'll use Psychic. Who's your grandpa is four times weak to poison? Oh, in Gen 1? Absolutely. Absolutely. Bug is super effective against poison, and poison is super effective against bug in this game. It's just simple math, didn't you know that? Also, in Gen 1, Twin Needle is the only move that can poison poison types. Bet you didn't know that. So we'll go heal before we take on Brock, the rock hard gym leader. <laughs> Brock's so rock hard. You did, in fact, good. I'm glad you did, Phoenix. A lot of people don't know that. I sure as hell didn't until I learned it, you know? <laughs> it's like every other thing that we learn. Alright, give me the health. Thank you. Yep. And now for the real challenge. The first... What could be a brick wall of this run is Brock, if that's actually his name, because I don't think it's his name anymore. Uh, the randomizer changes a lot, including what the trainer types are. I do Nuzlocks, I do the rule of once you enter the gym, you may not leave. I can't survive that rule in a randomizer Nuzlocke. If it's a normal Nuzlocke, sure, but not a randomizer. Alright, Brock. Are you ready? And hey, Brock, are <laughs> sure you are, uh-huh. Rock hard defense and just, uh huh. They're all rock type. Oh, bold, bold statement. Very bold statement on his part. A poor choice of words, shirtless Wayne. Wayne wants to fight. With a gold duck. Okay. Try spore. Oh, oh, oh my god. It's John Wayne. <laughs> That fissure could have ended Grandpa so quick, and you know, if it ended Grandpa, it would have 100% ended Guy. Oh, the luck. The luck is absurd. And they're paralyzed, so Brock's gonna waste another turn using a full heal, I'm pretty sure. Or he's not. Yep, there it is. It's... <laughs> They can use a move after they can use an item after I make a move, which is stupid. But Grandpa coming in clutch against a Golduck, one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. And a slowpoke. Alright. Alright. Um I don't think it had psychic. We'll stay in. Cause slowpoke is slow. It might be slower than Paris. We're gonna spore. It is slower than us. Okay, speed and slow, that's right. This is why it- oh, right. Duh, it's got a mountain of- it's got a mountain of fucking full heals. I think he's got something like four for each Pokemon. Why do they have- both have Fissure? Jesus Christ. We're faster than it, so I don't think it's gonna hit. Because it's based on speed in this game. But we're faster. Grandpa destroyed Wayne. The quote-unquote rock gym leader. All on his own. Holy hell. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Bearboard defeated Wayne. I took you for granted. <clears throat> Grandpa's taking on Usain Bolt in his next run. That's right. It's official. Grandpa Paris gonna be just a legend. His various Pokemon become more powerful. The technical move Flash. Yeah. We don't know what this is gonna be. Mugshot Malone, how you doing? Grandpa the Goat, hell yeah, Grandpa the Goat. All right, 
contains a technique that can be taught to Pokemon. Fear the power of Grandpa, only when he takes off his shoes. But Grandpa a crab, the goat crab, he's got mushrooms growing on his back. Are we caring if he's a goat or a crab? No, he's old as shit. <laughs> it contains fissure. That's why they knew fissure. Oh my god. His years of experience make him OP. Hell yeah. And we could teach fissure to something if we want to. But we'll hang on to that one. That's a very powerful move to have. Oh my god. Wow. Um. <laughs> crab god. Does anybody have that crab dance music? I don't, I don't think he took any damage. Hang on. Did, did we come out of there completely scratch free? We d Oh my god. Holy shit. He's the one who began the crab rave. He is the OB, the OP, the progenitor, the one <laughs> who all other crabs bow to. There we go, get that. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Whew. All right. So with that, Twitch chat, hang around because we're gonna keep going. But we're gonna go ahead and end this recording and we're going to start up episode 2's recording right now. How's that sound, everybody, huh? So, thank you for watching on YouTube. I hope you all liked the video. If you liked it, yeah, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Um, we're going to get episode 2 up in short order. Until next time, everybody on YouTube, thank you. We'll see you next time.